Hello, everybody, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted a video, and I have something very monumental for today, which is um, an unboxing video. Uh, now, opening a box would normally not be considered an important task, but when you do it on a video on YouTube, then all of a sudden it becomes very important. Um, this this is also, you could call it a mail haul video or a book haul video because indeed I am hauling some books. Now, what, what I've gotten are three books of my own. Uh, I don't know if you can see that pretty well. That's the title. It's called Song of the Nights. I have three copies of it. One for myself and two to give away. Uh, that doesn't look exactly like where it should be on the spine, but I don't complain about these things anymore. I'm I'm used to imperfections. Um, so this is the this is the title, Songs of the Nights, um, and there's a little story behind it, which is uh, if you are one of my Facebook friends, you've probably heard me pronounce often enough that readers are much more important than writers. And uh, starting the beginning of last year, so I've been at it about a year and three months now, I decided I wanted to become a reader. And uh, so I've been devoting myself to that, following videos on BookTube, which is a section of YouTube. Um, and so I've been the, the last year I spent doing a lot of reading, uh, the one of the piece de resistances, I guess, or I guess you would say pieces de resistance, would be the Arabian Nights, which Penguin publishes. Uh, here you go. There's volume one, volume two, volume three, and I just finished those. Uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, now, in the course of finishing those, and actually throughout the course of reading them, uh, I wound up writing poems that were inspired by the book. And at the end of it, I put them all into a book, and this is the result, Songs of the Nights. So the nights referred to are the Arabian Nights, um, it's a book which you can um, order from my Lulu page. Uh, Lulu is a self-pub site, and I will put links down below. Uh, the only caveat or warning for you is that um, if you go to the page with my... I, I think the book will appear, but if you go to the page with all of my books, sometimes it will say... Uh, and Lulu is very inconsistent about this, but sometimes it will say that there is a book that has been hidden because of for explicit content. And that is my book. Now listen, I don't need you to chew my book covers. So I will so if if you do see that, the the explicit content is the one that you want to see, and you have to click on something that says you are of a certain age. And then the book will be revealed to you. Now, they, they, they no longer have their preview function. Um, I'll let you flip through it a little bit. Um, it's, it's basically 82 poems long, uh, the smallest one being two lines, but most of them are normal length. And the explicit content part is, if you've read The Arabian Nights, the book itself um, if nothing else, it's an exaltation of romantic love. But it goes beyond that, and other aspects of love and even of hatred are covered. And I tried to include some of these other aspects. Um, you know, so if you're, if you're squeamish about, oh, the names of certain body parts or certain activities that um, can happen between uh, two consenting adults or even uh, 
non-consenting adults. Uh, these find their way into the Arabian Nights and actually into my poems. Um, personally, I believe that children of any age should be allowed to read absolutely anything that they like without restrictions, but I understand that not everybody feels this way. So this is my unboxing video, uh, my mail haul video, uh, my book haul video, but it's, it's really only for three of my own books. Um, and I welcome you to uh, click on the Lulu link. You can check out my other titles. And um, if, if you're so inclined, order a copy of The Songs of the Nights. Thank you very much.